These past few early mornings, Technical Sergeant Dotson and his team have enjoyed the nightly rains here in Rio Negro, Colombia, as they've worked to install the Mobile Aircraft Arresting System, or MOS, for the F-16s participating in Relampago 21. Most of, most of my team, this is the first time that they've ever done a real-world install. Everything leading up to this point has been training, 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 training. Along with that training, the team spent the past five months planning this installation. But you know what they say about the best laid plans. We're presented with challenges and obstacles that we could never imagine. Our engineers had used quite a bit of ingenuity multi developing multiple plans, working with the airport authorities, overcoming the terrain, overcoming airport restrictions, overcoming an international airport to be able to get to the solution so that we can actually conduct this exercise and train with our partners. Encountering and overcoming these challenges is a part of what's made this experience so beneficial for the junior members of the team. Fully immersed into this installation, they've had the opportunity to learn things they don't regularly encounter at home station. As my first time being out here and physically installing the equipment that we day-to-day -day work on and maintain uh, to send for fighters downrange, my main thing was to basically become a sponge and learn and become a tool as well to lead, lead the next team that would be able to come out here. It was really a great experience. And after a successful test of the system, the team is rewarded with more than just the accomplishment of a job well done, but also with a peace of mind. Yeah, for me, it's always about saving the pilot's life uh, and ensuring that they get to go home to their family. From KCOM 5 Columbia for Exercise Relampago 21, I'm Technical Sergeant Emily Koontz. Yeah.